So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Kick lands. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Just over three minutes now to go. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, doing a great job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. He's worked. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, as you take a look at the numbers there, bottom of your screen, counter-striking has really been the narrative in this one, the real story of this fight. And again, it takes a very talented striker to be able to land moving forward and moving backward. He has landed at will in this matchup here tonight. Oh, and a cut has just opened up on his forehead. We'll keep an eye on it. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Two 
minutes now to go. Into the clinch. Now let's see if they're going to try to find the takedown or watch for him to deploy a dirty boxing strategy. Big hook. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit. But he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. It was a good night if that landed. Nice. Nicely done. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Lands the side kick now. Less than a minute to go in the round. Straight punch is true. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Nice body kick right under the elbow. 15 seconds. Just misses with the straight right. Huh. Round two is next. Stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eye, sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, we will now re-rack some of the highlights for you from that previous round. We'll try to find the shot that caused the cut above his eye that is now leaking significantly down and compromising his vision. Yep, there it is. The one that landed that really opened him up. That cut is in a bad spot, yeah. too. Yeah. Right over the eye. So that blood starts to leak down. It starts to really impair the vision. It's going to be on his Ready. opponent to try and circle away from the power while not going in to circle away from his power to allow for himself to have a chance to still win this fight. Yeah, still plenty of time with which to rally, but we will keep a close eye on that cut above his eye. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Fast leg kick lands. Nice job defensively. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Straight punch. Looking to land the leg kick now. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to him. Massive head kick! That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Oh, is that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique, but done the right way. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high. And I gotta think when you knock a fighter down. Oh! So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off, and now, has to try to find that shot again. Trying to establish that jab once again. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Great block there. Quick jab. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, yeah. Just out of range with that strike. That was a nice takedown, yes. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Good, solid strike on the ground. Striking in every position lands a strike from the bottom. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, an appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP. I see. mean, he was, it was relaxation at its finest, just so relaxed so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. You ready to fight? Ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. A big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to... Oh! oh, he's hurt. Big right hand there. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Look at that right hand there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice head kick. 
Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this oh, he's Straight right is there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Three minutes to go. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. Great block there. That was a tremendous high kick. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Able to check the high kick. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you could think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, big elbow. Oh, man. Circling to his right. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Final 30 seconds of this third round. There's a kick. Oh, Superman punch! 20 seconds to go. And he's oh, he got him again. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar time. Rounds in the books, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. This is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Nice straight right, Lance.
shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Now goes to the uppercut. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Back to the feet now. And he lands that side kick. Strike right there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know. Just about do it. Oh, big left hand. Oh, 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 do it. I'm bored for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And